just a bloke in a bar. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to A Bloke Reacts. This week, I am reacting to Alofiana Khan Pereira. Now, he is the Titans winger. Hopefully, I pronounced that correctly. Let me know in the comment section if I didn't. Uh, he is a Titans winger, and, oh, he is quick. He is quick, and uh, like that, that meme, I'm something of, something of a scientist myself. I'm something of a winger myself. So I'm going to judge the shit out of this bloke. Nah, just joking. Uh, let's have a look at these highlights. He is quick. Oh, he's got a mullet shit chop to go, which is beautiful. Oh, great in and away. He, he already looks like that classic old school winger. Like for so long, we've got these big, big 100 kilo, you know, hit up merchants that just can get through so many meters, so many tackle breaks. Whereas, you know, you look at like a Josh Addo Carr, one of the best wingers I personally think of this generation, if not one of the best wingers ever. And he's a traditional winger. Oh, Goosey, left foot. Left foot again. Yeah, I knew it was coming, baby. Knew it was coming. That's the winger in me. Um, yeah, and, and this is a traditional winger. So he is 21 years old, 182 centimetres, uh, 80 kilos. So quite light. He would have put, I reckon he would have put a bit of weight on. Us, uh, would put a weight on in the preseason, uh, first grade preseason. But he's currently off contract this year. So this would be really interesting because I think he's fought his way into a starting spot on the wing for the Titans. He's played so well in the trials. He got four meaties on the weekend. Look at that. That's just pure speed, baby. Um, he's also, he scored 25 tries in 19 games for the Burley Bears last year. And he won Winger of the Year in Queensland Cup. So, oh, champagne. That is champagne footy. This play specifically set up for an extremely fast bloke like this. Number one as well. So, plays a little bit of fullback. Oh, no, that's not him. Apologies. Here he goes. Look at that. Just gliding down the sideline. What have we got here? Great catch, son. Great catch. Is that is this video at like two frames per second? Is that the new cinematography techniques? Look at that. Fuck. Oh, look at the speed. Go, son. Go. Oh, 13 nearly got him. Surely not. Just a, and also the way he moves, he's just got that smooth gait where it looks like it's effortless. And usually your best, your most fast sprinters have that effortless gait where they just really, the, their technique is, is beautiful to watch. There's, they're not constantly straining when they're running. They're very loose and fluid. Here we go. In and away, baby. Oh, he's gone on the inside. No, cover defense. Oh, but he gassed him. Stop it. Great try. Great try. Now, apparently, this is all allegedly, Jojo Fafida on the other side has a higher uh, top speed. And so that's, I mean, the young fellas coming through at the Titans, a guy like Khan here, who, Khan Pereira, who is super quick. Uh, they reckon Jojo is just as quick on the other wing. Try time. Man, it, it always like brings back memory watching like a young winger in Q Cup is like, that's, that's obviously, it reminds me of when I was coming through. Oh, in a way, stop it. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. That was fucking beautiful. Let's go. Let's do that again, baby. That is like traditional winger, like not a huge 100 kilo, light on his feet, lightning quick. Look at this. Straight through. See you later, son. Bop, bop. Oh, my God. Stop it. That is unbelievable. Great fullback. And look at the mullet just absolutely flowing. They reckon it adds 0.2 seconds onto your 100. Wow. That last try was something special because it's just, as a big fella, you can't do stuff like that. I mean, there might, there's, there might be some, but at high speed, you just can't. You just can't. Let's have a look at it again. Super quick. Hopefully he's Larry too. Because that, that's what we want. You want your traditional wingers to be a little bit leery. Look at that in a way. Oh, it's just beautiful the way he... Just the way he... There's all these like little... I feel like wingers in that like this. Like, look, this just looks like, oh, it's pure speed, pure nat natural reaction. But there's actually a lot that goes into doing a good in and away. Look, see how he puts the ball in two hands? So basically, he's squaring up the defender, making sure that that defender doesn't just go, you know what, I'm just going to jockey this guy to the outside. Squares him up, boom, goes off his le right to, to left foot, and then boom, right foot again. That That's a, a split-second sequence of setting that defender up to plan his feet so that you can beat him with your speed. And that's like that's natural talent, but it's also like years and years of, of 
Juan Pereira using his speed. Look at this. Here we go. You see? Boom. Off the left foot. Left foot again. Boom. It's just, yeah, it's years and years of, of knowing how to read a defender's body language so that you can basically make them plant their feet. And what is your number one asset? It is speed. Because it's like not even really deception to a degree. It's, you know, you're not making them go the wrong way. You're just making them stop so that you can use your speed to, to get the job done. Here we go. Great from the fullback here. Look at this. Like, that's number one right there. So it's not any slouch. And he just gasses him like it's nothing. What else we got here? Look at that play. So the Brisbane Broncos actually do a really good play like that. And the beautiful things about... They do it with Corey Oates all the time. Like, Corey Oates has scored a, a thousand tries from it. And the beautiful thing about it is when you set it up, it because, like... See, see that outside defender is coming up towards the fullback. Like, it's really deceptive because you can slide and you might be able to, as a defense, you can slide and you might be able to stop it. You can slide and you can stop it. But because he's running at such pace, he's going to get a quick play the ball and then it's a try on the next, um, on the next play. But look at this. Boom, jams up. Look at that. The other guy's left in no man's land. Speed on the outside. Boom, goes straight into the hole where that jam came. And so it's a really... It's a, it's a tough ask for defense because how often do we see now, instead of up and slide, teams just like shoot out and jam up to stop the momentum of teams, but things like this can happen. And I'm surprised that more teams don't do things like this when you see teams jamming all the time. Let's go, big fella. On the sting. Away. It just looks so easy. Like, look at... And it's like, no disrespect to the guy behind him, but like, look how hard it looks like he's... It is for him to move. Like, see how much he's straining to keep up? Whereas Cam Pereira is uh, just smooth. Just smooth with it. High ball. And it's going to be, again, it's going to be interesting. A whole preseason under his belt. Let's say he does win that spot in the Titan side. I wonder whether they'll be able to keep him because they got a lot of outside backs. Look at that speed, man. Wow. Great run. Again, just to reiterate, look, it looks like he's jogging and, and they're going faster to a degree. Obviously, he's going faster. He's beating them. But the, the, the strain, the tension that they're under, whereas he is just smooth with his gait. It's beautiful to watch. Look at this. Whoop. On the inside. That is fucking beautiful. Khan, Pereira, stop it. Again, once again, watch this. We'll watch it again. Boom. He's looking across, looks to his right, puts the ball in two hands again, stops the defender, squares him up, comes off his left foot. Boom, He's, he was planted. He wasn't moving towards or, or uh, like sliding off, and he gets the, the try time. And the beautiful thing about that is he's just shown that he can he can get you on the inner way, but he can also get you with the left foot on the inside. With the baby gives the left foot try time. There's my boy Ezra. Don't pass it, Ezra. Don't pass it. Oh, shit. Nothing better than these tries as a winger because you just like, boom, got to try. Job's done. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the try. Look at this. This is just pure pace. Pure pace. Bop, bop. Oh, my God. That is like the athleticism to be able to make that like... And this is, this is a negative of just sliding because sometimes you get guys that are so fast that see how all their body shape is out. So even the winger, he can't turn into jam if he wanted to. But look at this. Looks at the fullback, gets his bearings. He doesn't even have, he's got like, what do you reckon? A second to, to put this all in his mind. Boom, left foot. See how the defender has planted his foot, feet planted. He's in, it, in the chair, boom, on the way out. Crazy, crazy. So good to watch. Uh, thanks, uh, Q+, uh, the Queensland Cup, for that, that footage. As in, you know, credit to them. It's their footage, guys. But, yeah, what an excitement. I mean, when you talk about, like, excitement machines in the NRL, like Josh Adokar is right up there. And, and this is the mold of player that Khan uh, Pereira is. He's the excitement machine, the crazy finishes. I'm sure he's 
I'd be shocked if he doesn't have a crazy highlight reel by the end of his career. Um, who knows? He may have fought his way onto the wing at the Titans. If not, I'll be shocked if there aren't other NRL clubs that will sign him as he is off contract. But let me know what you think in the comments section. I think it's uh, we've got a highlight machine here, an absolute highlight reel machine. But that's Bloke Reacts done and dusted for the week, guys. Don't forget, Country Podcast Tour is coming up. We're heading to Armadale. We're heading to Wagga. We're heading to Cairns. We're heading to Rockhampton. Go to our Instagram or our Facebook. You'll see the dates of when we'll be there. You'll see the pubs that we'll be at. Live podcast show, live tour, coming out of the country. Come say hi. We'll do the live show, and then we'll mingling, having some beers with the locals. So head on down. But as usual, I'll see you next week.